A warning from Lethbridge Regional Police about a high-risk sex offender who is now living in the city. 28-year-old Benjamin Burroughs has been released from jail after serving a two-year sentence for possessing and distributing child pornography as well as failing to comply with release conditions. The warning was issued in the interest of public safety. Police say Burroughs had sought out treatment while in prison, but information contained in his file indicates he has been assessed as a high risk to reoffend. They consider him to be a significant risk to public safety, in particular to children. We want the public to see his photo only because we believe there's a public interest knowing that this person is at that high threshold that we believe to reoffend, and particularly against children. So it's necessary for us, and we feel that the public at large is, is better served by seeing this photo and understanding the reason behind it. But having said that, we encourage again that people should seek out no vigilante information or, or any kind of action against Mr. Burroughs. Burroughs is required to report regularly to his probation officer and is also bound by a number of conditions including not having access to the internet and no contact with anyone under the age of 16 unless an adult is present. Police say they have two full-time investigators assigned to identify and monitor high-risk offenders in the community. We also have Burroughs' photo on our CTV Lethbridge Facebook page. And Tabor police have charged a 55-year-old Burdett man with voyeurism in connection with videos and images that were gathered in public washrooms. Frederick Decker was arrested Wednesday and several computers were seized from his home near Burdett. As Terry Boat reports, public tips played a major role in the police investigation. Tabor police say a recording device was found in a public washroom at this 7-Eleven last February. It contained dozens of videos as well as photos of people using the washroom at a number of different locations. But the police investigation seemed to be going nowhere until this week, when investigators released two images of a man who they described as a person of interest. We received quickly uh, about six tips indicating that um, this person was actually a, a resident of a rural address near Burdett, Alberta. Wednesday, police went to that home and arrested 55-year-old Frederick Decker on one count of voyeurism. Police also seized several computers. Those are being sent to a forensic lab for analysis to help determine whether other charges are warranted. The pictures, as you can imagine, depict people of all ages use, utilizing the washroom. So some of the pictures depict children. Uh, so the uh, question is whether or not we actually have any uh, concerns with child pornography. Yeah, pretty scary. Can't even go to the washroom. <laughs> it's disgusting, but his family or his relatives will also be hurt when somebody is picked up for a crime like that, you know? The case has generated a lot of public interest. Police say that was huge in helping to identify a suspect who was even mentioned in Facebook and Twitter postings. We were told by many law enforcement officials across Canada that we probably weren't going to be able to solve this one. When we did the media release, the, the public uh, uh, information that we received back was tremendous. Police say it may take several months to complete their investigation. In the meantime, Decker has been released on conditions. He's scheduled to appear in Tabor Provincial Court on May 14th. Terry Vogt, CTV News, Tabor. Tabor police say this is an excellent case of public working with the community to promote safety. Decker has since been released from police custody. He is scheduled to make his first court appearance in mid-May.